In this short video, we're going to see how the IC and SPR integration can be leveraged in order to seamlessly upload and share large files and data sets securely, reliably, and at maximum speed, and this right from ICN. After a short introduction about the IBM Aspera Fast Core Data Transport Technology, we're going to be reviewing the ICN Aspera integration paradigms, architecture, and configuration steps before running a live demo covering both use cases. Let's get started. I'm going to be very brief on that one as it's covered in other videos, but the main thing that the IBM Aspera patented protocol known as FASP and standing for Fast Adaptive and Secure Protocol bring to the table are around maximum transfer speed regardless of distant data type and size. We're going to put the stress on that on the next slide or see an example, but basically as you can see on the right hand side of that uh, slide here, whenever you're trying to transfer data between locations that happen to be far apart, you're going to face more latency and packet loss, and these parameters are actually going to drastically affect your transfer performance whenever you're leveraging uh, common TCP-based transport protocol, such as FTP or HTTPS, commonly leveraged on, uh, on ICN as an upload and download mechanism. The next two things are around security and reliability, thanks to a comprehensive data encryption, as well as uh, on-the-fly integrity verification. So as mentioned before, and as per that example, let's consider that you're trying to upload 20 gig worth of data from, uh, from the Middle East to the US where your finite platform happens to be hosted, and this over a 100 Mbps line. As you can see here, it would take around half an hour with IBM Aspera FASP versus days well. It's maybe a bit pessimistic here on the calculator, but we'll definitely be talking about minutes versus hours. Although the IBM Aspera solution addresses different types of use cases, we're going to be focusing on collaboration. The next thing I wanted to highlight, as per the list of uh, references here, is that the, the capabilities we're actually highlighting today are relevant to any industry, any global industry having to deal with big data in the form of large files and data sets. And these could be of uh, any type. So from engineering drawings, oil and gas seismic data sets, or large media assets that can, by the way, now be previewed on ICN that are typically all in the range of, uh, of gigabytes. Here we can see the couple of integration paradigms available as of January 2019 and ICN 305 released back in December 2018. And so the first one actually allows you via many action to select files and just send them to external users. As you can see on the right hand side, whenever you actually do so, you just have to define the list of uh, recipients, put in the title, a note, and just, uh, and just send that package. What's gonna happen on the, on the other hand, as we're gonna see during the demo, the recipients are simply gonna receive an email notification, including a link, and by hitting that link, they will simply be able to go and download each or all the files, leveraging the same uh, fast technology. The, the second one allows you to basically leverage the same to upload large files and data set into the repository. When it comes to this, uh, to FASP, it actually requires a, a browser plugin in order to be able to leverage it for upload and download. It's typically silently pushed to all user workstation within the organization via something like a Microsoft SCCM, while external users will be invited to download and install that uh, free plugin. Here we can see a very high level architecture of the, of the solution. So as you can see here, you basically have external remote or roaming users as well as local user within the, the trusted zone. And both will be able to leverage this integration in order to upload or receive uh, these kind of uh, large files and data sets. The important point I also want to put the stress on here is that thanks to the fact that, he, that everything is uh, integrated here, it's then very seamless to following an upload into the repository to go and trigger a workflow, for example, let's say like a review workflow after some file have, been, uh, have actually been dropped. When it comes to the upload into Paradigm and the way you actually configure it, it's something very simple. Once you've uh, deployed and configured your IBM Aspera server, all of that is, uh, is fully documented. You simply have to, to go into the ICN admin desktop 
and on the in the general setting panel just uh point it to your aspera server defining the the relevant uh url as well as the the shared file location where both uh filenet and and the aspera server will be able to exchange files the the second thing that you then need to do is to simply go and for all relevant desktop enable the the ability to leverage aspera for uploads when it comes to the send to paradigm you would typically have your IBM Aspera sharing server somewhere in your in your DMZ or in the cloud if you've adopted uh, an hybrid approach. And what's going to happen is that at the time, uh, internal user will be sending files to external users. A temporary encrypted copy is going to be stored on this uh, Aspera server. And that's the actual copies that the external user will be able to fetch. So. Beside the fact that you're obviously only going to allow relevant users and groups to leverage this uh, capability from relevant uh, ICN desktops, on the IBM Aspera Fastpack server itself, there are many security settings that you can actually define. Two that are really relevant here are going to be the ability to enforce that external users will first have to, to sign up for a guest account before being able to access the files that were shared with them. And the second being the ability to, to delete the files automatically as soon as a relevant recipient have downloaded those files or after X number of days, whether they have or not. Okay, so this is gonna avoid storing, uh, storing important data for too long on this, uh, on this sharing server. So this is the IBM Aspera Fastpex front hand that you could leverage if you have a fully licensed platform and that basically allow you to, to both send and receive large files and data sets. Now, when it comes to the, to the way you configure this, uh, this integration on, uh, on ICN, it's something very simple. You basically simply have to go and enable the, the plugin and configure it. As you can see here, you would basically just point it to your IBM Aspera Fastpick server, define a couple of things such as the target transfer rate whenever, whenever a session is actually triggered, and then go on and enable it for, for relevant desktops. Now, let's uh, actually get started with our demo. So for, for that demo, we're going to be doing two things in order to actually highlight the two use cases we, that have been mentioned today. So we're first going to leverage the upload uh, capability to upload large files into the system and then go on and share these with the next node user that uh, that's going to be pulling this file. So as you can see, I'm leveraging uh, IBM Cloud Data Centers to, to actually host the platform while I'm actually going to be, whenever I'm going to be sending these files out of the platform has, uh, has a package, I'm going to be downloading them from here, from the, from the IBM office in, uh, in Dubai. So let's go and actually do that. So we have this folder here. We're gonna start by uploading a few assets. So we have these. It's hidden by default, but you can see that actually behind the scene, uh, the IBM Aspera Connect uh, plugin that's been mentioned before is actually leveraged and that we're now actually pushing the data using the same. So it's going to take some time. I'm going to pause the video. Our collection of sample file has now successfully been uploaded. One thing you can notice and uh, that was mentioned before that as of ICN 305, you can actually preview video files right from ICN. So let's do it here. It's just going to take like a second to load. And I'm, I can actually play it back. Now that the file have been uploaded, I could go and actually send them as a package. So let's, let's select these five files. Simply right click, scroll down and use the send via IBM menu action. So I can now proceed and hit send. Is going to work on that. The transfer has now completed. If I actually make it to my uh, IBM Aspera Fastpex platform, I get to see the package I just sent. I can see the file file that were actually uploaded, as you can see here. I'm just going to log off and go to my emails 
to find this email notification. So dear LWC at gmail.com, you received the following package. Remember the message I just dropped in and the title that I define. And from here, I can just go and hit the download link. It's just gonna take me to like a guest view on this uh, Fastback server where I can either select the, the files I wanna pull or simply download the entire package. Again, whenever I do so, and that's typically what XML users will be doing, the IBM Aspera Connect uh, browser plugin kicks in and lets them actually leverage the IBM Aspera Fast protocol for app actually pulling the data. So that's basically all for today. We've seen how easy and seamless it is to leverage Aspera to upload and share large files and disks right from ICN. You will just find all relevant details in the ICN Knowledge Center. Thank you.